city, let's silence some vampires. The tools necessary for the job. Get yourself six inch insulated ducting. The reason that we're using insulated ducting is that we want to keep the heat within the duct that we're trying to exhaust. If we have non-insulated ducting, then we'll just be exhausting heat into the room and will become ambient heat. We don't want that. Another thing is, is it will help silence the miner. 48 quart cooler. This is your basic standard 48 quart cooler from Walmart. Six inch hole saw one and a quarter inch hole saw, actual adapter when you get the hole saw. This goes into that. This cost about $39 at Lowe's and I believe this was around 10 to $15. Standard drill or a high speed drill. Let's get to it and make your own ant miter cooler. Let's start with the cooler. So we're gonna need to make three holes here guys. We're going to make one six inch for the input for the air, one six inch for the output for the air, and one one and a quarter inch for your power plugs and your ethernet cable. First step, let's measure the cooler's height so we can get a center point. So approximately 13 inches. We're going to go and mark it at 6.5, which would be right here. Do the same on this side. So we measured the cooler and its height is 13 inches. So we made three points of where we're going to drill the holes. One, two, and three. Let's start with the smaller hole first. done, we use a one and a quarter inch hole saw. Let's move on to our six inch input and our six inch exhaust. Let's begin. Okay, so we have three holes done. We have a six inch input and a six inch exhaust and a one and a quarter inch for our PSU plug and for our ethernet cable. Now, what I do is I like to have everything as tight and as perfect as possible. So I sanded the outsides as well and on the inside of the actual holes I made. And if you lined up the holes correctly, you should be able to do this. All right, it's ant minor cooler time. Using the six inch hole saw, it gave me two really nice pieces to get the air intake ducting and the air exhaust ducting in nice and snugly. Before moving on to the next step or putting your amp miner into this cooler, make sure that you go outside and get as much of the dust and foam particles out as possible. Not only do I use a blower of some sort, whether it's a hair dryer or a fan or whatever it may be, I also go back through the insides, through the corners with a wet rag and make sure to get all the dust and any contaminants that can get inside the ant liner out of the cooler. Let's go ahead and put our input. That's it. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and put this back into the normal room. Let's see the sound level, let's see the temperature difference, and let's see if this thing really works. Okay, so we put the ant miner on a piece of styrofoam to get it up to the height of the intake and the exhaust. The PSU is outside, the ethernet cable is ready and hooked up. Let's be quiet for a second. And you see our decimal reading. Do it. All right, relatively quiet as we're starting up. Let's check the temperatures. It's about 70 degrees in the cooler. Right, you guys 
see the temps. Let's go ahead and close it. Let's see the difference. Wow. A lot quieter. Right? Not bad. Not bad at all. You can really feel that thing sucking. Let's see what the output over here is. Now, they usually output around 9 to 10 mile per hour winds without any type of tubing or ducting. So this still isn't bad. Let's check the actual hashboard temperatures and let's see how they're doing. Things pretty quiet for now. All right, guys, look at that. We have dropped temperature at a pretty remarkable rate while keeping this thing pretty silent. Guys, so we've had this running for over five or six hours now, and it's staying relatively cold. Look at that. We've only had an increase of maybe only a couple degrees inside of the cooler, which is pretty remarkable.